you see the flyweight? It's like that. It's <laughs> flyweight is means like I guess flyweight. It's really really cool. Hey guys, so the barber videos are gonna be back and um, to start the season off, it is late August. Um, we have the Noristas coming through today um, in New York. I uh, have an interesting uh, comparison video. We're going to talk about the difference between um, the uh, Barber Lightweight Wax Jackets. I have two identical utility jackets in front of me. And uh, I'm going to talk about the Flyweight. So we have a Flyweight Utility and a regular um, Wax Utility Jacket. I'm going to talk, talk about the differences between the two. Um, right off the bat, the flyweight is about half the weight of um, the regular wax jacket. Um, and it protects about the same. That's why the flyweight jackets tend to be a bit more expensive. Um, and Barber don't really make flyweight uh, wax jackets anymore. They tend to do um, their seasonal um, spring and early fall wax jackets. Um, but they don't call it flyweight. They don't market it as flyweight. The flyweight, I have a flyweight utility, I'm going to put it on. It's really lightweight. It's like, um, sort of like a heavy denim, like, jacket or shirt. It has that weight. It's really lightweight. Um, and that's how it looks. It zips up the same. And what I like about the uh, lightweight utility, the light, the flyweight is, it's really lightweight. It's comfortable. The sleeves are articulated on this. Um, it's very easy to wear, and I can wear this down to... Uh, about 50, 40 degrees outside, like if I'm standing around, uh, I'm going for like walk in a park, walking a dog or something like that, this jacket will be really, really comfortable. Um, turn around, so you see. And if it gets too warm, I can just easily take it off. And always when you carry a wax jacket and you want to put it in a bag, I usually tend to like just have the lining out like that and stuff it in. You can stuff this in a handbag or a book bag and it goes right in there. The wax will make this waterproof, so it is a waterproof jacket. It will offer you waterproof as well as wind resistant in something that's really, really lightweight. Um, similar to the Gore-Tex um, hiking um, shell jackets, it's that kind of weight. The regular, and I've done a review on this one, the regular utility jacket, it's a bit more beefier. Um, the wax is a bit stiffer. Um, which gives you more cold weather protection um, and I've always never had issue with the breathability of the wax jackets that Barbara makes um, there is tailoring to make it breathable um, you have holes right there for um, perspiration and breathability so it is heavy um, but not cumbersome so it zips up and this one is a bit more snug fitting the wax um, the wax cotton material here on the outer of the jacket is very stiff. So you're not going to get a, a good range of motion as you will with the flyweight. Um, but if you go to a store now to buy a barber jacket, this is probably the weight of the wax um, you'll, you'll see on the shelves right now. They don't really do flyweight anymore. In the spring, they, like I said, they have like a nylon kind of, similar to a wax, they do like nylons now. Because that. But before barber, I guess... <laughs> when ventured into doing different uh, seasonal and trend items uh, and you wanted a, a jacket to wear in the summer months or s late spring early fall the flyweight was like one of the best um, bargains you could find or best um, all around early early fall late spring jackets you could wear this up to like maybe 70 degrees and once it gets too warm you just wear it with a t-shirt, you just take it off and like I said, you could put this in like a small bag or something like that. And I'm going to put the camera down and show you guys just a closer look at the details of the flyweight. But you can see the flyweight, it's like that. It's <laughs> Flyweight is, means like, I guess flyweight. It's really, really cool. So let's spin the camera and take a closer look at these jackets. So there's not much you could say about these other than the weight is the biggest difference but also the comfort of the fabric, like the flyweight is, is very, very thin. Um, the wax treatment on these um, jackets, well, first of all, let me say the flyweight is not so much the treatment of the wax. Sometimes you they might say a 12 ounce wax or six ounce wax. It's the, the cotton, remember, a wax jacket is basically a cotton jacket that's waxed with a waterproof um, treatment. 
So the wax is about the same, it's just the, the cotton of the flyweight is more like a t-shirt or like a silky uh, thin uh, fabric, whereas the uh, regular wax cotton is more of like a heavy canvas cotton kind of material. Um, so it's more of the material and less of the wax. Um, if you were to retreat these with the wax treatment, it would be the same procedures of rewaxing these jackets. Um, the flyweight might give a bit more, bit more tricky because of the lightness of the fabric. If you rub the wax in, I can see it would damage much easier. And this has been rewaxed like once or twice. Um, this actually is from a subscriber of mine um, that sent this in for me to review. So I thank you, I forgot his name, I think it's Peter from, um, from the Ukraine. <laughs> sent this to me, Peter, it's P-I-O-T-R, spelling this, of his name. Both of these are made in England. The flyweights, they don't do this much anymore. I don't even know if Barbara does these at all. So any flyweights you'll find online on eBay or one of the um, resellers online, most likely these jacks will be made in England or the UK. You really would ever see one of these made outside of the UK, simply because they are older style jackets. The flyweight also, another big difference, if you look at the regular wax jacket, the lining, the tartan lining is a heavy, almost like wool, weight acrylic kind of um, material the flyweight is just like a thin silky um tartan lining which is really nice very breathable as well um and and very easy to wear so there's not much else i can say about it zipper systems are the same flyweight also uses um i don't know if you see the zipper is a little bit smaller a little light the hardware is lighter weight than that these utility jackets do not take zip in liners but you obviously could wear something underneath if you want to. And lots of pockets in both of these jackets. If you guys want, I could do a review of this flyweight utility jacket on its own. But I just want to compare the differences between a flyweight wax jacket and a regular weight barber wax jacket. Um, using the same wax, it's just different fabrics are used on the jacket to make the flyweight much lighter, more portable, uh, more dynamic in terms of like seasonal stuff. You could wear this summer, fall, uh, early fall, late spring. Um, the wax jackets usually wear these either spring, fall, and winter. Not really summer so much. So there you go. Um, these come in handy. I've seen a lot of, there's a music festival in England, um, the Glastonbury Musical Fest. If you Google that festival, you see a lot of people wearing like these older flyweight jackets. Um, and it's midsummer. It's a midsummer festival. It rains a lot. It's muddy and the nights are chilly. Great jacket for England summer night basically english countryside summer night jacket that's what this is the flyway to cover that very very well um like i said you get tons of these they sell them on ebay on all the sellers of um older barber stuff online you can find one of these for under about 200 dollars. really good deal um these jackets are timeless they'll last a long time so any investment you make on a barber jacket whether it's 10 years old or 20 years old it's gonna, it's gonna stay with you for a long time. It's not, it's not gonna go to the garbage heap anytime soon. Um, that's the beauty of these jackets, guys. So I'll see you guys in the next one. It's the season just started. It's late August in New York, and I have a ton of barber videos coming up this season um, for you guys. Bye.